Gojoseon was an ancient Korean kingdom. The addition of Go, meaning ancient, distinguishes it from the other kingdoms called Hoseon. The founding legend of Gojoseon, which is recorded in the Samgukyusa and other medieval Korean books, states that the country was established in 2333 BC by Dangun, said to be descended from heaven. While no evidence has been found that supports whatever facts may lie beneath this, the account has played an important role in developing Korean national identity. In the 12th century BC Gija, a prince from the Shang dynasty of China, purportedly founded Gija Hoseon. However, due to the lack of archaeological evidence, its existence has been challenged since the 20th century and today no longer forms the mainstream understanding of this period. The historical Gojoseon kingdom was first mentioned in Chinese records in the early 7th century BC. During its early phase, the capital of Gojoseon was located in Liaoning, around 400 BC, and was moved to Pyongyang. While in the south of the peninsula, the Jin state arose by the 3rd century BC. In 108 BC, the Han dynasty of China invaded and conquered Wiman Hoseon. The Han established four commanderies to administer the Gojoseon territory. The area was later conquered by Goguryeo in 313 AD. Their language was probably a predecessor of the equally prehistoric Baia languages, and perhaps a form of Proto-Korean. Founding Myth Dangan Myth Dangan is the legendary founder of Korea. While there are variations among different texts and oral traditions, the most popular account is from the written record of the founding myth in the Sam Gung Ye Usa, a 13th century collection of legends and stories, which was written by a person named Il Yun. A similar account is found in Jiang Anji. According to the legend, the Lord of Heaven, Hoanin had a son, Hoanung, who descended to Bakdu Mountain and founded the city of Shinzi. Then a bear and a tiger came to Huanung and said that they wanted to become people. Huanung said to them that if they went in a cave and lived there for 100 days while only eating mugwort and garlic, he will change them into human beings. However, about halfway through the 100 years the tiger gave up and ran out of the cave. On the other hand, the bear successfully restrained herself and became a beautiful woman called Dung Yeo. Hoanung later married Yun Yeo, and she gave birth to Dangan. While the Dangan story is considered to be a myth, it is believed it is a mythical synthesis of a series of historical events relating to the founding of Gojoseon. There are various theories on the origin of this myth. Seo and Kang believe the Dangan myth is based on integration of two different tribes an invasive sky-worshipping Bronze Age tribe and a native bear-worshipping Neolithic tribe that led to the foundation of Gojoseon. Lee K. B. believes Dangan Wongjiom was a title borne by successive leaders of Gojoseon. Dangan is said to have founded Gojoseon around 2333 BC, based on the descriptions of the Sam Gung Ye Usa, Juang Anji, Dongguk Tonggam and the annals of the Hoseon dynasty. The date differs among historical sources, although all of them put it during the mythical Emperor Yao's reign. Sam Gung Ye Usa says Dangan ascended to the throne in the 50th year of the legendary Yao's reign, Annals of the King Sejong says the first year, and Dongguk Tonggam says the 25th year. Gija, Myth Gija, a man from Shang, China, allegedly fled to the Korean peninsula in 1122 BC during the fall of the Shang to the Zhou dynasty and founded Gija Hoseon in South Korea, the United Kingdom and the United States. Most scholars believe Jia's relation to Gojoseon is a Chinese fabrication and Gija has nothing to do with Gojoseon. In the past, the earliest surviving Korean record, Records of the Three Kingdoms, admitted Gija Hoseon. The Dong Zagangmuk of 1778 described Jia's activities and contributions in Gojoseon. The records of Gija refer to eight laws that are recorded by the Book of Han and evidence a hierarchical society and legal protection of private property. In pre-modern Korea, Gija represented the authenticating presence of Chinese civilization, 
and until the 12th century, Koreans commonly believed that Danjun bestowed upon Korea its people and basic culture, while Gija gave Korea its high culture, and presumably, standing as a legitimate civilization. However, in the modern era Gia's place has diminished to the point of near extinction. Many Korean scholars deny its existence for various reasons, mainly due to contradicting archaeological evidence. They also point to the bamboo annals and the analects of Confucius, which were among the first works to mention Gija, but do not mention his migration to Gojoseon. Regardless the controversy on Gija, the archaeological discoveries connect the culture of inhabitants with Chinese origins. The crescent-shaped stone knives and grooved stones in the Bronze Age of Korea evidence rice cultivation, which was transmitted to Korea from China, while other artifacts such as bronze daggers speak the distinctive features of Korea. The artifacts from the Iron Age in Korea such as Chinese coins and Sido-Siberian style animal-shaped belt buckles present that the iron culture of China and a bronze culture of Sido-Siberian origin were transmitted into Korea in the 4th century BC. State Formation Gojoseon is first found in contemporaneous historical records of early 7th century BC, as located around Bohai Bay and trading with Qi of China, the Zanguo Ce classic of mountains and seas, and records of the Grand Historian refers to Hoseon as a region until the records of the Grand Historian began referring it as a country from 195 BC onwards by the 4th century BCE. Other states with defined political structures developed in the areas of the earlier Bronze Age walled town states. Gojoseon was the most advanced of them in the peninsular region. The city-state expanded by incorporating other neighboring city-states by alliance or military conquest. Thus, a vast confederation of political entities between the Taidong and Liao rivers was formed. As Gojoseon evolved, so did the title and function of the leader, who came to be designated as king, in the tradition of the Zhou dynasty. Around the same time as the Yan leader, records of that time mention the hostility between the feudal state in northern China and the confederated kingdom of Gojoseon, and notably, a plan to attack the Yan beyond the Liao River frontier. The confrontation led to the decline and eventual downfall of Gojoseon, described in Yan records as arrogant and cruel. But the ancient kingdom also appears as a prosperous Bronze Age civilization, with a complex social structure, including a class of horse-riding warriors who contributed to the development of Gojoseon particularly the northern expansion into most of the Liaodong Basin. Around 300 BC, Gojoseon lost significant western territory after a war with the Yan state. But this indicates Gojoseon was already a large enough state that it could wage war against Yan and survive the loss of 2,000 Li of territory. Gojoseon is thought to have relocated its capital to the Pyongyang region around this time. Wiman Hoseon and fall in 195 BCE, Jun of Gojoseon appointed a refugee from Yan, Wiman. Wiman later rebelled in 194 BCE, and Jun fled to the south of the Korean peninsula. In 1009 BCE, Emperor Awu of Han invaded near the Liao River. A conflict would erupt in 109 BCE, when women's grandson King Yujia refused to permit Jin's ambassadors to reach China through his territories. When Emperor Wei sent an ambassador Shi He to Wang Jiom Siong to negotiate right of passage with King Yu Jio, King Yu Jio refused and had a general escort Shi back to Han territory, but when they got close to Han borders, she assassinated the general and claimed to Emperor Wu that he had defeated Jose on in battle, and Emperor Wu, unaware of his deception, made him the military commander of the commandery of Liaodong. King Yujio, offended, made a raid on Liaodong and killed Shi He. In response, Emperor Awu commissioned a two-pronged attack, one by land and one by sea, against Hoseon. The two forces attacking Hoseon were unable to coordinate well with each other and eventually suffered large losses. 
Eventually the commands were merged, and Wang Jiom fell in 108 BC. Han took over the Joseon lands and established four commanderies of Han in the western part of former Go Joseon area. The Go Joseon disintegrated by 1st century BC as it gradually lost the control of its former fiefs. As Go Joseon lost control of its confederacy, many successor states sprang from its former territory, such as Baia, Okyeo, Dongya, Gogyo, and Bakya evolved from Baia culture. Around 2000 BCE, a new pottery culture of painted and chiseled design is found. These people practiced agriculture in a settled communal life, probably organized into familial clans. Rectangular huts and increasingly larger dolmen burial sites are found throughout the peninsula. Bronze daggers and mirrors have been excavated, and there is archaeological evidence of small walled town states in this period. Dolmens and bronze daggers found in the area are uniquely Korean and cannot be found in China. Moon pottery in the Moon pottery period, plain coarse pottery replaced earlier comb pattern wares. Possibly as a result of the influence of new populations migrating to Korea from Manchuria and Siberia. This type of pottery typically has thicker walls and displays a wider variety of shapes, indicating improvements in kiln technology. This period is sometimes called the Korean Bronze Age, but bronze artifacts are relatively rare and regionalized until the 7th century BCE. Rice cultivation sometime around 1200 to 900 BCE. Rice cultivation spread to Korea from China and Manchuria. The people also farmed native grains such as millet and barley, and domesticated livestock. Bronze tools The beginning of the Bronze Age on the peninsula is usually said to be 1000 BCE, but estimates range from the 13th to 8th centuries. By the 7th century BCE, a Bronze Age material culture with influences from Manchuria, Eastern Mongolia as well as Siberia and Scythian bronze styles, flourished on the peninsula. Korean bronzes contain a higher percentage of zinc than those of the neighboring bronze cultures. Bronze artifacts, found most frequently in burial sites, consist mainly of swords, spears, daggers, small bells, and mirrors decorated with geometric patterns. Gojoseon's development seems linked to the adoption of bronze technology. Its singularity finds its most notable expression in the idiosyncratic type of bronze swords, or mandolin-shaped daggers. The mandolin-shaped dagger is found in the regions of Liaoning, Hebei, and Manchuria down to the Korean peninsula. It suggests the existence of Gojoseon dominions. Remarkably, the shape of the mandolin dagger of Gojoseon differs significantly from the sword artifacts found in China. Dolmen tombs Megalithic dolmens appear in Korean peninsula and Manchuria around 2000 to 400 BCE. Around 900 BC, burial practices become more elaborate, a reflection of increasing social stratification. Goindal, the dolmen tombs in Korea and Manchuria, formed of upright stones supporting a horizontal slab are more numerous in Korea than in other parts of East Asia. Other new forms of burial are stone cysts and earthenware jar coffins. The bronze objects, pottery, and jade ornaments recovered from dolmens and stone cysts indicate that such tombs were reserved for the elite class. Around the 6th century BCE, burnished red wares made of a fine iron-rich clay and characterized by a smooth, lustrous surface appear in dolmen tombs, as well as in domestic bowls and cups. Iron culture around this time, the state of Jin occupied the southern part of the Korean peninsula. Very little is known about this state except it was the apparent predecessor to the Samhan confederacies. Around 300 BCE, iron technology was introduced into Korea from Yan state. Iron was produced locally in the southern part of the peninsula by the 2nd century BCE. According to Chinese accounts, iron from the lower Nakedong River in the southeast was valued throughout the peninsula and Japan. Proto-Three Kingdoms 
Numerous small states and confederations arose from the remnants of Gojoseon, including Gogyo, the Baia Kingdom, Junhoseon, Okyeo, and Dongya. Three of the Chinese commanderies fell to local resistance within a few decades, but the last, Nakrang, remained an important commercial and cultural outpost until it was destroyed by the expanding Gogyo in 313. Jun of Gojoseon is said to have fled to the state of Jin in the southern Korean peninsula. Jin developed into the Samhain confederacies, the beginnings of Bakya and Silla, continuing to absorb migration from the north. The Samhain confederacies were Mayan, Jinhan, and Bionhan. King Jun ruled Mayan, which was eventually annexed by Bakya. Gogyo, Bakyo, and Silla gradually grew into the three kingdoms of Korea that dominated the entire peninsula by around the 4th century. Bibliography Barnes, Gina Lee State Formation in Korea Historical and Archaeological Perspectives Psychology Press ISBN 9780-7007-1323-3 Lee, Keybike A New History of Korea Harvard University Press. ISBN 0 674 61575 1. 1. Deep Rooted Korean History 1. Gojoseon Three Kingdoms. ISBN 8981335327. Lee, Keybike.